You are watching an AC Media production. Coming up this week on The Choice. Well, we're back and back with the choice. Can you believe it? Another year, another season. Yeah, and out in front of the porch again. Yeah, we're out here relaxing. <laughs> really, we're not out, but hey, what the no, heck. But we've got great new choice shows to show oh, you. Oh, we've got I mean, so we've got much action. We've got turkeys and gators and moose and bear and deer. I mean, it's going to be a great season for the choice. We got a variety of everything because that's why it is your choice. That's right. And this week's lucky logo <laughs> is Stealth Cam. Stealth Cam, always taking pictures of the game that so, you may not see until you get there and you look at them and you. Wow, I think he had too much coffee this morning is what I think. <laughs> Anyways, at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do if you see that Stealth Cam logo. And start getting prepared for the new Archer's Choice Trail Kit. Show Quiet. Camera. Okay. So anyways, so this cool. week's show, we're heading down to Osceola Outfitters with Uncle Hoppy, and we're taking our son, RJ, on his very first trip. RJ hunt. is nine years old, and he's fly. going. That's right. He's going to take his Benelli out, and I mean, it's, it's, it was a lot of fun. Oh, my gosh. What an experience. And why the Benelli? Well, because it's a pump, and it's in, well, more than a few shots. He only needed one. Well, oh, okay. Let's, let's just roll the footage. Can let's you believe this kid, his first turkey hunt, and he's going for an Osceola? Spoiled, you spoil this kid. Me. Yes. As soon as we told RJ that he was gonna be going on a turkey hunt down Uncle Hoppy's and he was like, well, what am I gonna take down there? Am I gonna shoot him with my 10 point? We're like, no, you're gonna take a Benelli this time. Here's your new Benelli 20 gauge Nova shotgun. What do you think? Bring it up here, get it up in your shoulder. Oh, buddy. And we got a bracket to hold it and everything. We're going to put it in a lead sled. We're going to let you shoot it. So he gets his he gets his Benelli pump, man, because that was it. You know, he's he's got to have more than one shot, Daddy, just in case. So I'm like, okay, cool, bud. Oh, so, you know, we, we, we had him shoot and we had him practice, and he's using the lead sled. Shot. That's what we're looking for right there. Hey, good job. <laughs> He was doing awesome in the yard. We were shooting the turkey targets, and he, he was ready. He was dead on, and he knew he was ready for this turkey hunt. Hey, that no. was a turkey's head. You just <laughs> blew it right off there, bud. Hunting is our life, and and with RJ, we're, we're scared to push him too much because I think we, we believe there's a point where, where he's looks at hunting, that's the reason mommy and daddy are gone so much. So we don't want it to be a negative thing. Uh, you know, does he want to hunt? Absolutely, he loves it. Um, and so to share a hunt with him is probably better than any other hunt we, we go on through the whole entire year. Okay, well, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I We've drove for two hours. Two. Barely, barely. Two. On my new True Bowl watch, it said two, up, two plus hours. And now look who's driving. That's right, because I've been up all morning packing. I had to get all the there. stuff, the hunting gear, the camping gear, the clothes. I had camping to do it all. Gear? Did I say camping? It is camping. Let's I try. Meant, I meant hunting camera gear. Oh. Yeah, you must be tired. You should just relax and lay down a little bit. I think I deserved it. Go right ahead. I am. I'll wake you up when we get to Hoppy's. Okay, see ya. Good night. Good night. Well, we've been taking RJ hunting with us for, well, he started hunting four days before his fifth birthday, which was down there with Uncle Hoppy and it was hog hunting. And he's nine years old and he's finally ready to go turkey hunting. And when we got down there, he was so pumped. He said, Uncle Hoppy said, I am ready to get my bird. Let's go out there and get it. Oh, here and there. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, the little monster might get his chance. You just called RJ a monster. Yes, he's got his no, little Benelli pump. No, he got all set up. He's, he's ready to go and we just... Uh, don't call your son a monster. Son. Welcome 
welcome back to the choice. Now, RJ's all set up, yep. ready to go, sighted in. Let's see if he can get his first bird. The anticipation is killing me. We're going on our first turkey hunt, right? Maybe we can get you an Osceola gobbler today. Uncle Hoppy will be here any minute. We gotta be ready to leave in 11 minutes. Can you be ready in 11 minutes? Yeah? Well, it's the first morning for RJ on his first turkey hunt, and we're, we get out there. He woke up really easy, which surprisingly enough he did because he knew he was going on his first turkey hunt. We went and grabbed our Maristep line, grabbed all of our decoys, and we headed out to the field. It was out by an, or an orange grove. The Hoppy said he had been watching some, some good gobblers hanging out around there. They flew down and they came straight over to our decoys. And there was a couple of them and they were just beating the tar out of our decoys. I mean, they were taking feathers off them and just, just demolishing them. So Hoppy, he's telling RJ, he's like, okay, he goes, when they're single, you know, when there's one away from the restroom, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try for that one. Wait till, uh, wait till they clear. I'm just too excited. I got the gun. I got the gun. You're all right, buddy. Take a deep breath. We're good. Wait just a minute. Just a minute. They're gonna move. Well, RJ, he was breathing so heavy in this ground blind, it was almost funny. And when they finally had one that was kind of cleared for him to go ahead and shoot at, Hoppy says, okay, take him, RJ. And RJ stopped and he took a deep breath. He goes, I can't. And both Hoppy and I were like, what? He goes, I gotta take a deep breath. I can't shoot. You can do it. It's just like shooting a target, okay? I just have to take a few breathers. Okay, you got it. So he takes a deep breath and RJ hunkered down on his Benelli and wham. Okay, right there. Shoot that rascal. Right there. Right there. Shoot him in the head right, now. Go ahead, come on, kid. Okay, sit still, sit still, yes. sit still. Yes. Now, RJ, he wanted to run out and grab that turkey because he's seen that happen before. He want, he sees people run out and grab that turkey. Well, there are still a couple good gobblers out there and we're trying to hold them back a little bit. That's kind of hard to explain to a nine-year-old who just shot his first turkey. Look, we're gonna sit right here. Don't scare these turkeys. You know why? Look what he done to your decoy. He broke the head off of your decoy. Let me tell you, I have been under 15 yards with grizzly bear, Cape Buffalo, you name it. I've been charged and everything else. Nothing can give you that feeling that when your child is out there hunting with you and takes one of their first animals or birds or whatever, Ain't nothing, ain't nothing better. Look at this. Huh? 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 Look at this right here. Spurs on him. <laughs> oh, that's a big spur. See, look. See this? <laughs> this is what makes, this is what makes our turkeys different. Now, you don't know this yet. But see how dark these wings are? Yeah. Your turkey you have at home has a lot of white. And you'll see. You'll see when you get one of them. But this is what makes them different. See this? 
Yeah, we hit it pretty hard. Yeah, man. Come here. <clears throat> you little scud. <laughs> Did a little turkey scratch you? Shut up. <laughs> there you go. Right on. You got it. Yes. How exciting is Was that? Was that cooler? Oh, man. You and I are sitting in the ground blind crying, crying afterwards, and he's laughing at us. Yeah, he's like, ready. I'm ready to go for the slam now. Uh, he, he's ready for all the birds. He, he thinks he's going to do it all. But when we come back, it's the big monster's turn to try, or the big gobbler, or the big turkey. It's your turn after the break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the Choice. How come you get to go up next? How come I had to wait? Age before beauty. Okay. <laughs> So RJ got his turkey that morning, and that afternoon, Ralph decided to head out and see if he couldn't get one with his 10-point. Happy Vicky and I just got set up. We've got our decoy out here. We actually spooked some gobblers and some hens out of this big pasture when we drove in this afternoon, and we're gonna see what happens. So they all split up, and they went back into this cypress head. Well, we're hoping that they come back out to feed before they roost. So, hey, we'll give it a shot, baby. Well, we get out there, we get set up, and there's not a whole lot going on. We're sitting there for a while, and sure enough, we see some birds over on the left coming across the pasture, and it looks like they're heading our way. Well, the gobblers made their way in, and they were messing around with our decoys, and I don't know what they saw, but they saw something, and Ralph wasn't able to get a shot. Well, as luck would have it, the birds started walking away. Well, thanks to Hoppy Sweet Talk, and he started talking to those gobblers, and they headed right back in. Are they walking away or walking? They're coming back. They are? Yeah. They're coming back, Nick. In red. Be real still. Where'd he go? I can't see him. I hear the one. I see one here. We have hunted turkeys a long time. We've hunted them with our bows for I don't know how many years. RJ shot one with his Benelli. We've shot him with our 10 points. We've shot him with the muzzle loaders. And I gotta tell you, it is fun to shoot him with the crossbow. <laughs> it was so awesome, not that I shot the bird, but I shot the bird the same day that our son RJ shot his first Osceola turkey. How cool is that? Look at them. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Look at them, nice bird. Nice Osceola outfitter, baby. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. That was pretty cool. See a father and son, the new father and son team. The new father and it's son it. team. Yeah. Going to change things around here. Is you know, it going to be like choice. North America's favorite father and son team instead of a couple? North America's like favorite closers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't go anywhere. We come back. It's my turn to go and try hunting the turkey. You know, he's just being mean. <laughs> Welcome back to The Choice. Now it's my turn for my turkey hunt down there with, what are you doing? The anticipation is killing me. It's I hope a turkey you washed hunt. your hands. 
That's gross. <laughs> Well, two days after RJ and Ralph tagged out, it's finally my turn. We had a day of rain, we couldn't get out there, we couldn't do anything, we got up early on the third morning, and my little sweetie pie gave me his lucky Benelli for my turkey hunt. This is your gun. Can I use your gun this morning? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be cool if you and I both shoot a turkey with the same gun, your Benelli? Didn't Daddy do? No, Daddy used 10 point yesterday. So is it okay if I use yours? Uh-huh. Sweet, all right, come on, let's get in the truck. So we got out and we got set up pretty early. And first sit wasn't really productive. We didn't hear, hear anything. We heard some goblin, but didn't see anything. As we were getting everything packed up, getting ready to move, Hoppy did a crow call just to check and some of the goblins responded, so we headed that way. We got set up really quick, as fast as we could, and we put out our decoys and we got had everything set up. I was sitting in between a couple little palmetto bushes and we had Ralph, RJ, and Hoppy sitting about five yards behind me. And it wasn't long that those birds were coming straight into the decoys. I see them, they're coming. There were two gobblers and a bunch of hens coming in the decoys, and they all they go straight to the decoys just like they have all week long. They start beating up on the decoys, and as soon as they, the one gobbler separated, that was it. I let RJ Spinelli bark, and I got myself a bird. <laughs> oh, oh, buddy, how'd I do? Thank you for letting me use your gun. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, buddy. Let's go get him. Third morning out, we've taken three birds in three days. I've hunted the longest. <laughs> Ralph and RJ have been having to go out in the woods with me every day, every morning, every afternoon. They've both been troopers. I can't complain at all just because RJ shot his first morning, Ralph shot his the first afternoon. But I got this beautiful bird this morning. We worked hard for him. We chased him around a little bit trying to see where we could find him at and it all worked out just perfect. We're down here again with Hoppy Kemp for Osseo Outfitters and this was a, this was a pretty good I, was, I got all excited and started shaking and everything else like that. I, it's a good thing. I guess turkey hunting still it's kind of fun. <laughs> what an awesome week we had down there with Hoppy and Osceola Outfitters. I mean, RJ shot his first turkey. Ralph got his that same afternoon. That was a great experience. And now I have my turkey. We couldn't ask for anything better than spending a great trip and a great week down there with Uncle Hoppy. I did it. Wow, the three musketeers. <laughs> Thank you for well, including me. Well, I was. You know, I mean, it was really cool that yeah, all three of us can go there and share that. That's what this hunting's all about. That's right. And be able to take RJ down there on his first turkey hunt, that's what the whole main purpose Thank of that you, trip Hoppy was. Thank you, Hoppy and everybody. I mean, everyone. wow. That, that was pretty special, and we hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, if you happen to see the Stealth Cam Lucky logo, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? You're going to log on to thechoicetv.com. Yes. Click on Lucky Logo, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great stuff from and Stealth you will Cam get your and some other stuff. And video in the field like you've never seen before. Next week's show, Alaska. Alaska. Renfro's Alaska Do Adventure. Do it yourself with the big wade. Moose hunt. Zendel and Joe are heading up there on their own. And if you've ever dreamed about doing a do-it-yourself moose hunt in Alaska, you're not going to You want to watch the next two weeks because it is, wow, it is great. It, it is. is. The guys did a phenomenal job. They did. Wait till you guys see this footage. So we want to thank you 
for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.